Good afternoon, John. Thanks very much for sparing a moment. Mate, Good afternoon. I, uh, you haven't even told me your name. Bill, Bill Thompson is my name. I'm uh, Bill from South Bank that rings... Ooh. Near miss? Did no. you get that? <laughs> I got the screech. Hello, Bill from South Bank. <laughs> um, I, I very much enjoyed the uh, discussion with the myth, Mythbusters today. I was hoping to uh, have a chat with them. Um, you get some interesting people on, and uh, very lucky. I, I enjoy 90% uh, of uh, your commentary on things. Um, uh, look, there's, I can sense there's a but coming. Well, well um, as far as uh, I'm the guy that rang up and, and said, mate, if you're going to talk about other people's tax, uh, you probably need to. Uh, uh, reveal your own tax situation, and you were you were kind enough to uh, to tell uh, the people all about that. Um, uh, as I said, said this was a ten second interview. Oh, okay. Um, uh, the the coverage of the Middle East conflict. Yes. Um, do you think that people go that the media has gone overboard in their condemnation of uh, Israel, but not condemnation of what's going on in Syria, for example? Uh, well, I always uh, recoil when people talk about the media because there isn't a single media. There's also well, let's talk about media, the ABC. Depending on what people consume will colour their perception of what's being said. What so, about the ABC? Well, and again, the ABC, there's radio, there's television, there's online, there's news, there's current affairs, there's talk shows, there's so many different things. So I can only be responsible for what goes to air on one radio station out of about 60. Yep. And only between half past eight in the morning and 12 noon Monday to Friday. So I'm a tiny little link in a very big chain. You've raised an interesting point, uh, one out of 60, uh, with with a, an organisation with the reach of the ABC. I think it's incumbent upon the organisation that I love and have loved for 50 years to uh, give a balanced coverage of news and current affairs. And from, uh, from what I've seen on the coverage, there has been far more coverage of 2,000 dreadful deaths in the Gaza Strip and nowhere near the coverage of the 150 to 200,000 uh, people who have died in the sectarian violence in Syria. So because it's very, very hard to get images out of Syria. So in particular when it's talking television news, television news is driven by what pictures they can get and certainly uh, the the coverage of something where there are no pictures. There's, there's plenty of pictures on live leak. They're not very sure. pleasant. But, uh, mate, I appreciate you stopping to it's chat an with me. Absolute pleasure, Bill. And